Welcome to an example on how to use matrices to perform a dilation in a translation of a triangle. So here we're given a triangle on the coordinate plane and for part A we're asked to write a matrix that represents the triangle ABC. So we'll represent the vertices of the triangle in this two by three matrix where in the first row we'll have the X coordinates, the second row we'll have the Y coordinates, so each column would be a vertex of the triangle. So the first column will be for point A, then point B, then point C. Notice how the coordinates of point A are three comma zero, which means the first column in the matrix will be three, zero. Point B has coordinates negative three comma four, so the second column in the matrix will be negative three, four. And finally, point C has coordinates at zero comma negative two, so the third column in the matrix is zero, negative two. Now let's take a look at part B. Again, here's part A, so part B asks, find the coordinates of a triangle, ABC, after a dilation with a scale factor of three. To perform a dilation using matrices, we perform scalar multiplication. So three times our two by three matrix will give us a dilation with a scale factor of three. which means by performing the scalar multiplication, this will give us the coordinates of the vertices that will increase the size of this triangle by a factor of three. So three times three is nine, three times negative three is negative nine, three times zero is zero, three times zero is zero, three times four is 12, and three times negative two is negative six. Before we go to part C though, let's graph these points on the coordinate plane and compare the two triangles. So the original triangle is in blue, then after performing a dilation with a scale factor of three, by performing the scalar multiplication, we have the new vertices to the red triangle. So the red triangle is a dilation of the blue triangle by a scale factor of three. And now for part C, we're asked to find the coordinates of the triangle after a translation three units to the right and four units down. So starting with the original matrix, remember the X coordinates were in the first row and the Y coordinates were in the second row. To form a translation, we'll perform matrix addition, where again, because we wanna shift the triangle right three units, we're going to add three to every X coordinate. So we'll have plus in the first row will be three, three, three but we also want to shift the triangle down four units, and because we have addition here, we'll add negative four to every Y coordinate, so the entire second row will be negative four. Remember, adding negative four is equivalent to subtracting four. So again, because we're adding corresponding elements, we're adding three to every X coordinate, which will shift the triangle right three units, and then we're adding negative four to every Y coordinate, which will also shift the triangle down four units. So by performing this addition, we'll have the vertices of the translated triangle. So to add the matrices, we add the corresponding elements. So three plus three is six. Negative three plus three is zero. Zero plus three is three. Zero plus negative four is negative four. Four plus negative four is zero. And negative two plus negative four is negative six. So this matrix would give us the vertices of the triangle after the blue triangle is shifted right three units and down four units. Let's also look at this graphically. So the original triangle is in blue and the translated triangle is in red. Notice how if we take the vertices of the blue triangle and shift them right three units and down four units, we get the corresponding vertex after the translation. Again, right three, down four, right three, down four. I hope you found this helpful.